Now here's a feature that corporate communications and digital marketing absolutely loves about LifeRay. It's LifeRay's audience targeting. And audience targeting is your mechanism for delivering some of the most engaging user experiences that you can imagine. You can personalize content and deliver it to a very select group of people that are viewing your site. Some of those experience may involve folks that are not logged in, others that are logged in, but effectively it's the mechanism where we take the users and the content and we combine that stuff together with the business rules and we deliver that campaign or that brand or in that content that somebody's really looking for when it comes to personalization. You probably noticed over the past two or three years has been a huge movement to personalization and there's a reason for it. It's much more engaging for your customers and your audience. Uh, there's reduced friction when you do it with LifeRay in terms of how you can get things to market very quickly um, and the types of experiences that you can build out. And ultimately, as a business person, you want to be enabled to deliver these experiences and the messaging uh, to your audience without being slowed down at all by IT or requiring some kind of a lengthy deployment process that you have to wait weeks for instead of minutes. Uh, and this is in a natural progression. When you think about the delivery of content, you think, okay, well, if I know these certain things are true about this classification of users and I can deliver content to them, why can't I deliver individualized items for that specific person. I think that's the next natural step in progression when it comes to audience targeting. So right now we're, uh, we're doing personalization and the next step will be individualization. Let's take a look at a real world example of doing LifeRay audience targeting in DXP 7.1. Notice here I've got three carousel slides set up and let's say I wanted to show another one for folks that have maybe looks for support or looking for support from the company. So if I go and start navigating around throughout some of these support pages, maybe I go to the contact form, I go to the FAQ, you know, I'm just kind of looking around, looking for something that maybe is um, gonna help me out in my situation. I, uh, and I don't find it. Now notice when I come back to the home page. I now have four slides. So we've added, using audience targeting, this additional slide to contact Extivia. Now, this is a very simple example. You can do a lot of other stuff, but this is somebody who hasn't logged in, and now I'm targeting a slide to them based on some actions that they've taken in my website. Very, very cool stuff and very powerful. So let me show you a little bit about how that works. I'm gonna log in as myself, and go into that section and show you how you set up some audience targeting rules. Okay, now to access audience targeting, we're just gonna go into our configuration section and find audience targeting. This is the area where we configure all of the user segments, which are the smaller audiences or groups of people that we want to target our content for. So in this, case, you can see I've got a lot of rules that are built here, FAQ page visit, uh, people coming in from Extivia.com, Spanish language, the, based on the time of day, a lot of things you can do even without having access to somebody's individual um, attributes about their user. So I know the slide was presented there from the potential customer or needs assistance rule. So let's take a look at this. What happens here is that every time somebody visits a page or some content that we have uh, classified as going into this user segment, they increment their points. And we can set some rules based on how high of the point set is that they've accumulated. And based on that, we can display some messaging to them. Okay. So in this case, if somebody goes into our section and they have accumulated three points, then we're just gonna present a slide to them. Now, something that's really cool, in addition to the stuff that comes with life rate out of the box, Extivia has also built their own personalization attributes where we can tap into uh, the attributes that you know about users based on 
the business logic and the rules uh, of your own business. So we reach out to your ERP systems or your CRM system or whatever system of record that you have. We aggregate all of that data into this user's attribute set that they are using Liferay with. And you can then start targeting content to them and running campaigns focusing on those folks um, based on the information that already exists in your system. So very powerful, powerful features here with LifeRight audience targeting.